In this video, we are going to look at how to import a high resolutionary image into Civil 3D. In my this in my window, I have this image. You can see the file size is more than close to 2 GB. So I am going to import this high resolutionary TIFF image into my Civil 3D. Before doing that, I need to go to settings tab and set my uh, geographic region into my drawing. So I go to settings tab and here I select the drawing name and right click and edit drawing settings. Then I set my image region and click OK. So it will give me the geolocation tab here I go there and I will load the online map so that I can see uh, the image is loaded into the correct location so I will wait some time until the uh, map loads now you can see my map is loaded so to import that image into my map I need to go to planning and analysis workspace here I need to go to planning and analysis I go there then you have to go to insert tab and go to image here then select this image and click OK so it will tell you you can't attack the image it is not valid this is because this image is a high resolution image this cannot be imported into civil 3d so i am going to show you how to convert that image into a very low resolution image and import it to civil 3d to do that there is a small free software called geoweaver you have to download it and install it in your uh, computer so i have in, i will put the link on the video description to download the software now I am going to open the GeoViewer software. So after opening the software, you have to go to File and add Local Layer, and you have to go to the uh, folder where you have that image and set this file type to TIFF files. Then it will show up our high resolution image. You can see the size of the file here. I click here and click Open. So it will ask in the mesh pro map projection. So I have I will select this one, but if you can select other projections also according to your needs. I will click OK now. So if I click this image and go to zoom to fit entire map, you will see this map is loading. But you have to wait some time until this map is fully loaded. Once it is fully loaded, you can see this clearly here and you can see a preview here now you can see here it is saying that it is still working so we will wait some time until the map is fully loaded because if it is not fully loaded you cannot uh, import the, uh, you cannot get the clear image now you can see this image is fully loaded in here and here as well you can see it says idle here that means the image is fully loaded if you zoom somewhere here after some time you will see there will be a very clear image here you can see you have a very clear image here now what I am going to do is I am going to export this image as a low resolution file uh, not like the first file like uh, a size of 1.5 1.75 GB but I will export into a low resolution file to do that I go to tools here and go to export and I will export the current view so it is asking what is the name of the output image so uh, output uh, resolution image I will set the name as image 1 and I have, I have to set the format to GFTIF and set the to write a world file to get the coordinates 
for that image then here you have to set the custom dimensions i will set the custom dimension that it will have a good resolution but you can set any other dimension that gives a lower file size than the initial file so if i set see here it is 150 nb here so i will increase the size little more so I, it will give me a uh, 339 megabyte uh, file size so then I will click export here so it will show you it will export after some time it will be exported now it says it is exported it says it is completed now i click close here and i move to my folder where i can see my image one and image tfw that means the world file the coordinate if you double click here you can see it has some coordinates here i have said to open this file using a uh, notepad that is why i am getting this so this is the coordinates so geographic data written into this file now you can double click this image and open this image you can see this image is now some clear resolution so i close this then i go to civil 3d then i go to image as earlier and this time i will set this image one to be imported and click open so it will ask the image correlation that means what is the uh, location of that image so since we have set a world file you have to just accept this uh, since my drawing is in meters i will set this units as meters and i click ok you can see here now the map is imported to this point you can see here that the map is important imported here but there's a problem now you have a white background around the map so you have to remove that part to do that you click here and right click and go to properties and set this background transparency to yes but still it will not show up again you have to right click and go to transparency color and select this button and it will give you a transparency color as white and you have to select this actually this is not white this is full transparent color and click ok then you will get the image without that background now you can see here this image is fully coincided with the actual map you can see here so now you can use this data to uh, your designs or any other work with uh, more uh, accurately so that is how to uh, import a high resolutionally geotiff image into civil 3d by lowering the resolution